Shortly after a loss in the Super Bowl to the Kansas City Chiefs last February, Kyle Shanahan fired defensive coordinator Steve Wilkes and subsequently promoted Nick Sorensen as defensive coordinator, citing scheme fit and scheme philosophy as areas of dissonance and in need of change. But what differences from Wilkes to Sorensen can 49ers fans expect to see this season? One of the biggest areas will be in the pressure packages and coverages the team utilizes this season compared to last season. Under Wilkes, the coverage of the secondary was the focus. Allow more complicated disguises and changes to create advantageous matchups while asking the front to win their one-on-one -on -one matchups. As a couple of examples, here from the Super Bowl against the Chiefs, we see Wilkes presents the Chiefs with a man coverage look with a single safety in what we call a middle field closed look. But the late motion of the Chiefs exposes the defense as zone and post snap they have dropped into a two deep, four under fire zone, middle of the field open defense. The Chiefs have a good call against this with a middle clearing route to pull Fred Warner deep and allow Travis Kelsey to work underneath that nets them a first down on third and long at a crucial point in the game. From the end zone, you can see the scheme provides one-on-one -on -one pass rushing challenges for the defensive line to win, while trying to force Mahomes to work post-snap to the change of the defense, ideally giving the secondary an advantage and asking the talent up front to win their matchups. Later, on another crucial third and down, Wilkes presents a pressure look with a middle field open defense with split safeties. From here, they drop into a three deep, three underneath fire zone with Randy Gregory and Chase Young dropping into hook zones late. This time, the Chiefs have Jarek McKinnon on a flare out and are again able to beat the pressure for a first down. From the end zone, the presentation shows the offense eight potential rushers against six potential blockers, but will drop out three men into coverage. They do get an unblocked rusher, but the late drop of the two defensive ends doesn't account for the running back well and again leaves the defensive line with one-on-one -on -one rushing challenges. So far in the preseason, Nick Sorensen has brought back pressure packages that were run under Robert Sala and D'Amico Ryans, which provides greater advantage to the defensive line in their rush opportunities, but tasks the coverage with more predictable assignments. Here, they give a pressure presentation with a single safety look. Post snap, they're playing a three over two cone on the number two and number three receivers, while manning up the outside and having Robert Beal on a peel rush, where he will pick up the running back should he flare out into the flat. From the end zone, the presentation forces a predictable line slide and with Beal on a peel rush, will ensure Malik Mustafa will be unblocked off the edge. With the running back stepping up to pick up the inside pressure, Robert Beal needs to recognize this and attack the offensive tackle to his inside shoulder to allow Malik Mustafa to have a direct line to the quarterback. For another example, against the Saints, Sorensen is giving a bump man look with pressure. Post snap you can see they are in a physical press man coverage while running a double stunt up front to generate a pass rush. The presentation again will force a predictable line slide and opens up a huge lane on a stunt. The idea is to disrupt the timing between receiver and quarterback. All four of these defensive calls allowed gains in different ways, the last being a pass interference call. But you can see a clear philosophical change from Wilkes to Sorensen back to what the 49ers did under Robert Sala and D'Amico Ryans. Whereas Sala and Ryans focused on creating favorable matchups for the line in their pass rush scheme while keeping things more simplified on the back end, Wilkes focused on keeping things more complex and favorable for the coverage units while keeping the front more simplified. Will the 49ers defense see a return to form that fans were used to seeing under Sala and Ryans? That's the question that will need to be answered this season. But the early evidence shows that fans can expect a scheme change much more aligned to the former than the latter.